grocery prices rose again in August, according to the monthly Consumer Price Index released Tuesday, and consumers are increasingly using Buy Now, Pay Later apps to cover the cost of rising food bills. In fact, one in five people who use BNPL services now say they've used the pay over time model to cover the cost of groceries, according to Hugh Talitz, senior partner at management consulting firm CG42. Half of them do so regularly. The move into delaying payments arrives in tandem with stubbornly high inflation, which barely moved from 8.5% in July to 8.3% in August. Almost $46 billion in buy now, pay later transactions were made online in 2021, up from $15.3 billion the year before, according to Global Data, a data analytics company. It's a trend financial experts warn could lead to deep debt if consumers continue to push the cost of essentials into future paychecks that aren't guaranteed. The average consumer is under the misconception that buy now, pay later isn't debt, Talents said. They think of it as a different way to pay for something which is, I think, extremely dangerous. But families feeling the pinch of higher prices on food, household goods, back to school supplies and more, say spreading out the financial hit is necessary right now. Refund problems, buy now, pay later refunds on apps like Afterpay, Affirm, Klarna frustrate consumers buy now, pay later, should users be worried about high debt?